<laughs> Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about the new trailer for Overkills The Walking Dead. Now, this is a four person co op video game coming out this fall. I am very excited for it because uh, they showed Aiden was the first trailer they showed that was his character trailer and then Maya was the second one they showed very impressed by both of those and the third was uh, or is Grant they just came out with this I believe it was yesterday and it follows suit with the previous two it looks impressive not only does it look amazing now keep in mind these are the uh, cinematics it's not the actual gameplay and we're all <laughs> all of us just waiting for that gameplay so come out with it already <laughs> give us a little something I mean just something but there's one more character they need to reveal and then we should get the gameplay the fall's gonna come up pretty quick though uh, so we should be getting gameplay a little bit after that fourth character um, trailer that drops now here's the thing with this the reason why uh, I get so um, specifically hyped for this isn't just how it looks because the gameplay is the most important. I don't care how good the cinematics look. If the gameplay isn't good, I've said this in each video, uh, it's going to fall apart. But what gets me so hyped is the vibe, the atmosphere, the details that they're putting into the cinematics. It gives me a lot of hope that this is going to be a very good polished final product. Uh, just by what we can see with these character trailers themselves. Uh, even how the, the, the Grant character comes in, a neat little thing, he comes in, finds some liquor in the glove box, he sits down, and he's having this conversation with the zombie. Now, I will have to admit, my creative juices got flowing halfway through this trailer, and I thought, my God, that would have been so neat to open up, and he's already having this conversation, and we think he's talking to somebody, and then they do the reveal that he's talking to the zombie. My brain was like, oh, man, that would have been so tight, you know? But then it might have confused us, like, how did he get in that car? Is this, you know, before, after, during, a, was it a car accident? No, that zombie looks really dead. But still, this is um, an interesting character with something intriguing that is common in the world of The Walking Dead, but it's a character looking for somebody. In this case, this has a lot of emotional potential because he's looking for his granddaughter. Now, this is 100%. It has to be something they're going to include in the game, whether it's through their missions. And again, I, I don't know exactly how the game is going to be structured, uh, but I do have a feeling that if they're going for this emotional roller coaster as well as uh, real cool and addictive gameplay, they got to do something with evolving these character stories. So there's no difference here. I feel like by the time we get to the fourth character trailer, we're all going to be just like screaming, okay, give us the damn gameplay already. Three for three at this point. Three amazing uh, character trailers. We're at max capacity excitement for those of us who are interested in this game. And I just can't wait already. <laughs> give us the damn gameplay. At this point, I already feel like it's going to be good at the very least. There's just no way you put this much care and polish it up and it looks this nice and it doesn't seem cheap or goofy or silly. This does not seem like a turd they rush out to cash in on the Walking Dead name. This looks like a lot of effort is being put into this game to make it something that's going to last uh, for a few years because as an online game and the way they can update it, uh, any problems that come out with this, any bugs, any glitches, they could just update that shit and this could go on for four years straight. We could be um, rocking out with this game and enjoying it. All depends on how the gameplay is structured, but I hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case. Imagine fun, addictive gameplay, first person shooter in the world of The Walking Dead uh, with four interesting characters and they can update the game, patch the game, include new maps maps or missions or uh, again however it's structured include new shit breathe new fresh life into the game you know a year after it's released or six months after it's released and this could be something we can enjoy for a couple years that's what i'm hoping that would be badass awesome and i do know originally they said something about virtual reality i'm hyped for that and I'm, I'm still holding out hope that eventually it will spill into that i heard a rumor i did hear someone say that they pulled back a little bit on that we might be getting something down the line or maybe a version of this that is compatible with virtual reality i'm not really sure i gotta look into that but that is definitely something that uh, I'm intrigued with. I love all that gimmicky shit with uh, 3D movies. Love them. <laughs> Certain ones. 
and then uh, virtual reality is something I really want to get into uh, for video games. Guys, while editing, I was looking up a couple images so that way I, I wasn't just looping the trailer and I actually found a couple that might go with the new girl, the last girl, the fourth character trailer we're going to get. I don't know her name or nothing. I'm going to have to look and see if there's any information that came out about this, but this is my favorite here. I absolutely love this image. This is freaking awesome, but the concept art images, if you look at them, it looks more like The Last of Us than anything else. It has that type of vibe to it, which obviously isn't a bad thing. You know, post-apocalyptic should all look the same if it's grounded in our reality. You know what I mean? What our world would look like in that situation. So, yeah, it should look similar, but it has that vibe, which I, I feel really good about. Uh, definitely different worlds, so even if it looks similar, there is no worry about the um, gameplay feeling the same because completely different worlds, completely different types of monsters, but uh, this looks impressive. So I'm going to put up some of the images and concept art, and again, I think this image here is of the final girl they need to reveal. I'm going to look into it, but she looks really interesting, and they got a, a nice... They got a nice, unique four characters, something different with each one, so I'm liking it so far. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If you haven't seen this yet, uh, I'm not playing the trailer, so go ahead, dive in, uh, watch this trailer, and see what I mean about the atmosphere and the vibe that they put into the cinematics, even the, the, the details. Like I said, we've gone over some of the details and the behind-the-scenes discussions of the people making a game and what, they, what kind of thought they put into just blood puddles. Uh, absolutely gives me a lot of hope, that's the one word I'm going to cling to, that this game is going to turn out to be a pretty awesome ride. Alright, leave your thoughts and opinions down in that comment box. Coming up, we're talking about, uh, I think there's some Fear the Walking Dead news, uh, Predator. I want to talk about the new Predator movie, so hopefully in a few hours or maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few hours, I'm going to get up a video. We'll try to discuss the Predator movie, so come back here for that. I said all I could say about this. Nothing changed. It looks great. I'm still excited. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in that comment box. How do you feel about this? I'm done talking. It's your turn.